Hello everybody, welcome to a Facebook Live with Jeannie. I am Jeannie Nielsen, the Card Lady, and I'm very excited to be here with you today. So today, I decided that I was going to do a fun fold card. Sorry, I just walked my dogs out in the rain. Yes, it's wet outside. Uh, nice weather for ducks, but not exactly for dogs. <laughs> anyway, I had a fantastic time today getting ready for my Facebook Live, and I'm really excited about it. You know, I'm so excited. I think I'm actually going to see if I can see comments at the same time while I'm doing this. I got dressed for the occasion. I don't know if you can see this uh, little necklace. Um, if the light catches it just right, it's a beautiful blue, matches my shirt. Um, I have a, a uh, necklace from Magnabilities. I match all of my outfits. Um, I have different interchangeable magnet centers that I change, and I did this one. I even did my earrings for you. So, since we're having so much fun getting dressed for the occasion, yikes, I have to put myself together. Um, let's see if I can see myself on Facebook at the same time. And then I can listen to comments as you comment. I can try and comment. I just have to make sure that I am quiet there because I don't want to um, be seeing myself at the same time. Ah, there I am. So... I am going to see if I can see comments at the same time. Um, so anyway, I have a fun fold card here. Um, it is a um, fancy fold card, lots and lots and lots of folds. Uh, you'll see it better when you go down. Um, because of all the dimensionals I put on here, it actually is a little bit bulky. So you are definitely going to be paying the 70 or 75 cent extra postage for this one. I think though it's perfect for being hand delivered. So just hand deliver this one. Uh, maybe you even wanna make your own envelope. I had lots of fun with this and I'll tell you why I chose this card today. First of all, I went to a stamping retreat about two weeks ago. I have to apologize. I haven't been here for the past two weeks. Last week I was preparing for my parents to come and I also was not feeling well. I'm just starting to feel well now. so. Um, today I eat normally so that's kind of cool and I got my energy back so let's see if I can flip down and show you this card but anyway I want to make sure that if you like this card and my videos that you like the video share the video and by all means um, follow my page because I have lots and lots that I'm trying to do I'm always so busy you know that how I'm a nurse too um, I have lots of hours this week as a nurse, but I am going to be back here next Thursday with more cards. I have a card class tonight, a bingo class next week. Busy, busy. Okay, so let's see how this is going to work. I am going to flip down and don't get dizzy. It's gonna be, I'm going to be, um, I'm gonna try and do it quick so that you don't get dizzy. Here we go. So right here, let's go right here, I think. That looks good. There's my March host code. So if you place a March ho uh, an order in March using this host code, um, at least $50, celebration is still going on here. First come, first serve for everything I have left from celebration, but I have lots of items left. Um, Ellen, if you're watching, your otters are going out in the mail tomorrow. So let's show you this card. Isn't this so fun? Fancy fold card. I'm gonna move my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine out of the way. Like I said, the reason I chose this card, oh, am I upside down? On, isn't that crazy? I should have been. Does that work? Not really, sorry, okay. I don't know why I'm backwards there on my computer, but I'm gonna flip up for a second. Maybe I missed, oh, I missed something. There we go. Let's put a little bit of, uh, in, now you can see what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Let's see if we can do a better job getting seeing the whole picture. This is actually going to be really good for me because if I'm not good, I'm going to see it right away. So 
There we go. March host code right here. Place a $50 order and come pick from my celebration store while supplies last. Okay, so here is the card that we are going to do. I'll add the host code later so you don't have to worry about it. Um, this is just a fancy fold card. I would probably put the greeting on the back. Sorry, my nail polish doesn't exactly match my cards unless you're thinking about um, Northeastern North Atlantic water is more this green color than this blue color. Um, but I use so many fun items, so many different papers on here. Um, I am gonna show you all the different papers and I'm also going to put your mind at ease. This is a super simple card to make. I went over and above adding different things because I was having fun because it's a Facebook Live and that's what we do in a Facebook Live. We show you all the options. But I don't want you to think that because you don't have the supple shimmer paper, the blue foils paper, the uh, rainbow glitter paper, um, ombre paper, whatever we're talking about, that you can't make this card. You can. You don't have to emboss this layer like I did. I chose to because it uses the um, seashells uh, uh, 3D embossing folder, and I kind of thought that that went really well with the theme. I put my paper down, my card part down at the bottom, so the card will stand up just like that. Okay, so with the magic of television, I've already embossed this, and the reason I've already embossed this is because this is a regular width folder. It's not going to fit in our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I apologize for that, but the reason I want you to know though that this mini stamp and cut and emboss machine right now at 20% off is a really, really good deal. The only other way you can get it cheaper is with a host code or with a party at, of at least $450 and choosing it as a half price item. Um, and of course you can get it practically for free, not really, but kind of for free um, if you place an order for a starter kit because you can choose $125 worth of product for $99 and get free shipping and 20% off too. So that might be the better deal. And of course, I would ensure, encourage that. I am uh, the leader of the Paper Crafting Genies and we have lots of fun. We're having a meeting um, next Saturday getting ready for on stage. But anyway, okay, I'm gonna go up a little bit higher because I wanna be able to see everything. There we go. Okay, so I've got my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine ready to go for all the items I'm gonna do. But before I get started, so we have our 3D Seashells 3D embossing folder. This paper, look at how beautiful it is when it's embossed. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. You could actually, you know what? We're gonna do that. I wanted to figure out what to do with my uh, Wink of Stella pen. Let's just color it a little bit, why not? Um, the top especially, we're going to, it's going to be peeking out over the top. So we'll just color it a little bit and we don't have to do anything fancy. We're just going over it with our Wink of Stella pen, adding a little bit of glitter, a little bit of shine, because what is a card without shine, right? There we go. Most of that isn't going to show, but I decided I wanted to do it anyway. And it, because of the alcohol in the pen, it dries almost instantly. So we're ready to go there. Okay, next, let's see what else. I have my uh, score tool, my scoreboard. I have to tell you, I use this more than my paper trimmer. I just happen to like that better. I use my, um, usually uh, I have a Carl cutter because I'm putting, cutting big amounts for classes. But anyway, let's see. I have here a piece of four and a quarter by 11 inch thick basic white cardstock. You want to do the thick because this is a little bit more, um, this is going to get a lot of, um, I don't know, attention. You know, you're going to be folding it in and out. The thick basic white cardstock is just going to work better here. So let me put that off to the side for a second. Now we have two score lines with it where it's gonna be mountain fold and two score lines valley fold. I could score them all at the same time, but what I'm gonna do is do the first ones, which are going to be the mountain fold at three inches and at eight inches. So this is four and a quarter by 11. You get two 
of these cards. You can make it out of one sheet of paper. I'm going to flip it now and I'm going to uh, score it at five and a half and nine and a half inches. And that's all we need our score board for, our scoring tool. So I bought myself a little table so I can put everything out of the way. Isn't that so fun? Okay, now what I need, if I can find it, I think I put it in my bucket here. I need, look at this bucket. Isn't this fun? All kinds of inks all kinds of tools. What I need, and I'm not seeing it here, but I know I have it, is my bone folder. And the reason I want a bone folder is because I want to make sure I have nice, crisp edges. Okay, here we go. I got my bone folder. We are going to, like I said, mountain fold. So we're going to mount the bump goes in the middle when you're scoring this. We're going to go like that. And then we're going to go like that. Fold it the other way. Burnish the edges like that. And then we're going to go like that. And there is our folded piece of paper that's going to go on our base just like that. So, but before I put it on the base though, I want to embellish it. I'm going to add different designer papers and I have lots of designer papers here ready to go. I cut these designer papers already. Um, there's three different um, panels here that will get the designer paper. The big, the middle, and the small. The big one is two and three quarters by four inches. Remember, we're four and a quarter inches wide. So this here, is four and a quarter inches wide, so I'm making this four inches. This is three inches wide, so I made this two and three quarters. I'm going to add some glue and put this right here, just like that. I've got my next panel. I chose a different pattern of the cardstock. Do I want the green? I think I'm going to stick with the pool party for now. It's a little bit more solid. This one is two and a quarter inches by four inches. So you have three panels, four and a quarter inches wide for the total paper. So your designer paper is only four inches wide. Two and three quarters, two and a quarter. And this small one here is one and a quarter inches. So let's do that. Put my glue away for a second. I'm going to put it this way. I like the blue like that. And I'm going to show you all the different paper that you can use here. There we go. Now, I also have some white cardstock. And let's see where I put that. I think that's right here. This panel is also, uh, actually, it should have been two and a quarter inches wide. So let me cut that down real quick. Good thing I have a paper trimmer close by. And this here should have been one and a quarter inches. So let's cut it again. I didn't do very well this time, did I? Okay, there we go on that. So I've got my white panels and I'm going to stamp my white panels just like I did here. I had so much fun embellishing this. So I used two different stamp sets. These are the two stamp sets I used. Seascape, which is one of the 20% off bundles that is also available for sale during March, as well as this uh, stamp, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. All of the dies fit in the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I'm going to cut out of that in just a second. Let's see now. I've got all of my ink here and all of my stamps all ready to go. So 
I don't have a Stampin' Pad here. Boy, I thought I was all put together. Even walked the dogs leisurely before I went. But So what I'm going to do first is stamp my grass. This is the grass from the Seascape uh, bundle. So what I did was I'm gonna stamp once full strength in the granny apple green, and then I'm gonna stamp off right next to it. And if I had done a really good job, I probably would have done better right there, but it's not gonna matter because we will embellish it somehow. So we've got that. Let me put my granny apple green away. Actually, I'm going to stamp the same thing on my little panel here, now that I think about it. And I'm gonna do the granny apple green again, but I'm gonna stamp it off because I don't want it to be too prominent with my other things going on on that panel. So the grass from Seascape is done in granny apple green. Okay, next, let's stamp some fishes on here. What I used for that was Mango Melody. So hang on one second while I go through all my ink and find my Mango Melody. Yep, I left it right where I stamped. Of course. Okay, we are going to stamp some, let's see, I didn't stamp those fishes. We are going to stamp the mini fishes and that's from the um, Whale Done stamp set. Um, the Whale Punch is still available next year in the catalog. So I'm hoping that that means that also we're going to have the Whale Done stamp set. I forgot to look at that, but let's, I think all of our fishes are going to go in the same direction. What do you think? Okay, so that was stamped in Mango Melody. I have to say that this uh, wave paper, I keep calling it whale paper, but it's wave paper, is so beautiful. I want to show you that I totally could have changed the colors. Let me just show you some of these pieces. We've got that. Look at this one, my favorite would go very well with blueberry bushel, don't you think? We've got this one, this pattern, and this is the last one. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's the last one. On the other side are all kinds of peaches and yellows. Now I have to tell you um, that I could totally have changed the theme of the paper and the look of this just by using the other side of this but I have a plan for that paper too. I think that's going to be great for my Easter class coming up in two weeks. So stay tuned for that. Okay, what I'm going to do, this is gonna take a while because I've got a lot going on. I just kinda of, um, took my Wink of Stella to the fishes. Okay, and I'm going to glue that into my panel right here. So this is one of the one and a quarter by four inch panels on this whole 11, by four and a quarter inch panel. So there we go. In a second, I'm gonna take out my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss and I'm going to go to town with some of the other things that you can do. So let's see, I have here uh, Sahara sand and I put just a little bit of sand at the bottom here, just a tiny bit. And that's one of the stamps in Seascape. I'm just gonna do that at the bottom and maybe that'll do a good job covering up my green that I didn't stamp so well. Would have done a better job if I hadn't used left that little halo if I'd been more careful and not so quick to stamp. Then we've got our pool party and we're gonna stamp a couple of little bubbles on this. Isn't that fun? I love bubbles. Let's do the bubbles right there. Perfect. I don't have my cleaner here, so I'm trying really hard not to put my used stamps next to the basic white cardstock that I have here. Um, now I have a perfect saying for right here. This is again from the Whale well Done stamp set. And this is where I said it's gonna, it's some, there's something fishy going on here. Well, this adorable little sentiment says, may, 
You know what? I'm going to stamp it. It says, hoping all your birthday fishes come true. Isn't that so fun? So we're going to put that right there. There we go. And I'm going to set this. Actually, I can attach that. I'm going to embellish it with some die cuts, but I can attach this to my panel right there. And I'm just going to do a better job. I'm going to use um, the stamp set or the die cut advantage to cover up my blunder there with stamping. Um, my friend Penny always says, don't do what Penny does and she leaves something. And I'm, then I'm thinking, you know, mistakes or whatever you wanna call are just invitations to embellish a little bit more. So I could use the sea glass shapes here um, and maybe I will actually. I may do that. Okay, so let's put this aside. Oh, I forgot. I have to stamp this one yet with the grass as well. And I stamped this with uh, shaded spruce. I just kind of liked the look of that. It could have been like a mossy meadow or an old olive, but or even more granny apple green, but I wanted to do the shaded spruce, so. There we go, beautiful. Now my stamp is really inked up and messy. Okay, I have another stamp. I don't know if you saw it here. This is the sea turtle. I thought that was adorable. It actually, I stamped it on the paper twice and I kind of ended up needing to re-ink um, my ink pad. So let's see, where is that? Hang on one second again. I used the Mossy Meadow and I just re-inked it so it was right next to my re-inkers. I'm going to, once again, stamp the sea turtle on a scrap of paper because it's really easy, if I do that, um, to fussy cut that. I don't know about you guys, but I love to fussy cut. I find it very relaxing. And I don't find it difficult either, especially if you follow kind of the paper as you're cutting and you have a good pair of scissors. There's my sea turtle, all stamped. I'm probably off camera now that I think about it. Let's see. Um, I need my paper snips here. I'm going to cut around. And what you do when you're fussy cutting, you're moving the paper rather than the scissors. So see how I'm following the curve of the paper and moving the paper rather than the scissors? Yeah, maybe a little bit of both, but primarily moving the paper. I'm kind of following the curve of the paper and letting it do the work instead of the scissor. And this is one of those not very difficult ones to cut out. You know, I'm watching myself, but I don't see any comments. So you may not be even joining me right now because you may have given up on me because I wasn't here last week. I hope not. I hope you watch the replay if you're not with joining me live. Um, I really enjoy doing my Facebook lives, but it just was not in the cards for me last week. Okay. I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals, or a dimensional, I'm gonna say. Just one, actually. I'm gonna use a couple of little ones too, uh, or at least one little one there. If you have trouble getting your dimensional, um, what do you wanna say, covers or backing off, use your thumbnail to the center of it, and then it usually lifts right off. That's just a little trick for you. Okay, there's our sea turtle. Isn't that cute? Um, so now what we need to do is embellish this panel and this panel. So let me move my stuff out of the way, my stamping, etc. Actually, I can put my, maybe so I don't lose it, I'm going to put my uh, embossed mat on here before all of a sudden I can't find it. Because if you have worked around me, 
I lift something up, I set it down, and next thing you know, it is gone. My son says I need my own secretary to keep track of me. And he's absolutely right, because I might be um, saying something to somebody, get sidetracked, forget what I'm saying, first of all, but I've lifted something up, I've taken a card and taken it with me, and oh, just remembered something and I dropped it off. I don't know if you're like that. Is that a, a women thing or am I just really, really, really too busy? I've got too much going on in my head. Okay, let's. we've got that ready to go. Let's set this aside for a second and let's work on embellishing a tiny bit more, okay? Okay, so I wanted to show you some of the paper, other paper that I used here. I have here, this is the Supple Shimmer paper. I think this is supposed to be a pool party color, but it really picks up whatever you're around. And then there's the pink. Obviously, I don't have any need for the pink on this card, or at least not this particular time. Then I use these beautiful blue foils. Besides the blue wave paper that's only available while supplies last, and believe me, you're going to want this paper, um, we also have these beautiful blue foils. Now this blue foil is actually a silver. This is Coastal Cabana and it went really well with my first card. And then this is more, I don't know if it would be, it's probably not Pacific Point. It's probably more like a Night of Navy or a Misty Moonlight. Um, this is also while supplies last. What a beautiful foil. So I got that. Then the other, I used two other papers for my little goldfish here. I used some of my rainbow glimmer paper. Isn't this so fun? Look at how much fun I've had with this. Um, and I just ordered another two packs because I didn't want to run out of it. And then of course there's our ombre specialty paper. And I was having a little bit of trouble with this to start with because I thought that it was all red and yellow and purple. And then lo and behold, I thought that I put one of my blue foils in the wrong folder and I found the blue foil. So we are going to cut our seahorse out of the blue foil. You know what, I've got a little, little, uh, I forget what, um, Shirley has a name for them and I forget what she calls them, but these little pieces that don't belong there. I just had a little one I had to get rid of. Okay, let's have some fun embellishing and cutting the different pieces here. So I've got my mini, mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. I think I've told you before, the trick is to have like this cabinet liner and then this is really lightweight. So it does want to move, but with this cabinet liner up under there, it tends to do a little bit better. So we've got that. I've got my plates ready to go. I would have a different uh, plate here if I was going to be doing an embossing folder, but I've already done the embossing with my larger 3D embossing folder. Okay, so now let's cut out, hmm, like I said, I think I wanna do, this is gonna be a little bit different. I think I want to do my, hmm, I'm gonna do my seahorse out of the blue foil. Okay, isn't that gonna be fun? We're gonna do the seahorse out of the blue foil cut that. I don't think I need to backtrack, but because it's easier for me to take it out on this side, a lot of times I will go back and forth to make sure it cuts. This doesn't seem to be the same as our other uh, Big Shot, where um, it didn't have the pressure. It had the pressure on the sides. This one tends to have the pressure in the middle and does a good job the first time around cutting. Let me move this for a second because I have to show you something. So this Sea Life uh, or Seascape die, is it the Sea Life dies? I have it out so I could tell you what it was called. Sea Life dies, I was right. Um, first of all, I'm going to want my, um, let me get a piece of scrap paper. I'm going to wanna um, get rid of these little, can't think of that name that, Shirley has for all these little pieces. It starts with a C, but you guys can leave me a comment. 
I don't know if I'll see it because I just don't seem to be seeing it because I think, I don't know. We're working on these Facebook Lives. So you see, I've got my take your pick um, tool. I've got the brush and I don't really want to scratch the foil, which is why it's taking me a little bit longer and I'm just trying to be a little bit more careful. The other side, I've got, this is the same um, piece that has the spatula on the other end, but it has the piercing tool. So I could get some of my little pieces out that way. And then I wanted to show you a little thing about this die. Um, that is primarily what I'm trying to do. See how it's not popping out? This is what you have to do. You have to take your um, paper snips and you're going to cut, there's like four little pieces that are hooked in. Now, if I wanted to, I could use it as a cutout too, or I could pop it up maybe, I'm not sure. I haven't really explored too much with these, but look at how it's coming out now. Isn't that so pretty? So now I'm gonna turn this over because what I like to do is cut right under here. No, I do have to do it this side. It looks difficult, it's not. I'm just gonna take my, that little piece. Yeah, I say it's not, and then of course I'm on camera and it gives me trouble. Okay, there's that one. There we go. Okay, let me just cut it out a little bit better here. Once I've done that, it works a little bit better. These little scraps are going to be underneath me, but I've got a dust buster vacuum ready to go, so it's not a problem. Okay, so that's the first thing. Let me set that aside for a second. Then what I'm going to do, I think I want to, hmm, do I maybe want to instead, no, I think, Yes, I'm going to use, this is going to be for the, um, if I can find it here, oh, here it is, the coral. So let me feed this through. I'm going to do the coral in the supple shimmer paper. And if I change my mind, I've got lots of my blue ombre paper here as well. So I can do it with that if I decide that that's a better fit. So let's see. Sorry, I'm shaking everything. There we go. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but I didn't have my um, thing underneath and that was the big problem. Didn't have my liner. I don't know, have, have you ever demonstrated something? You say, this is so easy. You're gonna have no problem. And then somebody has to step in and say, yeah, yeah, but don't get cocky because that's not how it works. Okay, this works a little bit better. Okay. Having the liner underneath makes all the difference. And see how I lined it up again and I can just pop that out. Very easily. Isn't that pretty? Now, I have to tell you one other thing about this. Um, these little pieces, it looks like they all pop out. They actually would be better up, popped up. They don't completely pop out, at least not that I've noticed. Um, I guess it's better there for texture. So we're gonna keep that there. Let me put that here. And move this. Okay, the next die I'm going to use are the little fishes. And that is where I want to do, you know what I just realized? I probably already lost my seahorse that I just cut, but I could do it with the yellows, but I'm gonna do it with the blues instead. This is the blue ombre paper, and it's really, really pretty. Yep, no idea where my seahorse went. Probably fell. I probably stuck it in a bucket. Didn't I tell you, you have to keep an eye on me? These little fishes, um, it looks like there's two fishes stuck together. 
if you look at the die. But really, what happens is you've got two different fishes, and they're facing in different directions. So there we go. Fun. Okay. I think I like the blue. We're doing a blue theme today. Even though maybe I, oh, there, and there's my seahorse. Yay. Okay. I've got two more things I have to punch, and let's do that before we go on, on any further. I have to stamp my whale in Pacific Point. So I've got my Pacific Point, and I was happy to see that Pacific Point is coming, and there's a new color or a new designer paper featuring lots of blues again, and Pacific Point is one of the highlighted blues. I have to tell you, if you um, don't know, Pacific Point is probably one of my favorite blues in theory, but I never use it because it doesn't usually have a designer paper that it goes really well with. Well, now it does. It has the wave paper and eventually it is going to have this new, I believe it's called Sun Life, I, or Sun Prince. I cannot wait for this paper. And I'd love to show it to you, but the only way you can see it is by being a demonstrator. So if you click my join now, you can become a paper crafting genie with me. And then you can see the catalog too. And free order April 1st. Isn't that fun? Okay, so I have here my whale punch. And I'm going to punch this out. And that works, it works out really well. It's really easy to punch this whale. There we go. He even has a water spout. Maybe I'll put the water spout on him too. I'll have to see. We've got our fishes, our seahorse, our coral, and let's move that out of the way. I have to just do one more thing, and that is stamp a sentiment. And I stamped it in, I stamped it in black, but I'm going to try stamping it in, hmm, no, I'm going to stamp it in Memento. Sorry, I was going to try stamping it in a different color. If I would do anything, it would probably be Knight of Navy, but guess what? Don't have it here. So we're going to do Memento. I don't know which side is up, but I do know that when I put this on the block, I did it so that my lines were straight. But I'm going to be punching it out anyway, so I'm going to trust the block. I'm going to stamp straight down, not rock it, because that's how I get my halo, if I rock it or add too much ink. Um, and then where is my punch? I don't remember the name of this punch, but it's a beautiful punch that I rarely use. And it was the perfect size for this sentiment, so we're going to use it right now. Okay. Now let's put the rest of this card together. <laughs> this is why my stamp room looks like it does when I craft, because I get very creative, very creative. Okay, so we're gonna use a few dimensionals. I'm gonna keep that close by. Okay, first thing I'm going to do I decided I was going to add this to the bottom of the card because then I think I showed you, or maybe I didn't, then it kind of stands up. If I put it more in the middle of the card, yes, it'll look beautiful, but it's not going to stand up. Um, and so let's be practical about this. And then you can still see a little bit more of this um, seashells embossing folder, 3D embossing folder. I'm gonna use glue. You could use your stamp and seal plus. I would not use stamp and seal for this. You want something that's going to stay put. Stamp and seal plus, or you could use tear and tape. I'm going to put this down here towards the bottom. And because I could close it, but it's going to be easier for me to attach it if I just kind of keep an eye on it here. Just like that. Doesn't take long to set which means if I'm wrong about where I placed it, it's there for good, let me tell you. Okay, 
um, let's add our coral at the bottom. I'm going to use some dimensionals. I want to use some mini dimensionals, I think, on this. Make sure when you're using your dimensionals, you're using every part of it. Don't waste any of it. You know, the more I look at this, the more it looks like they could pop out. Maybe if I had run it through a couple more times, those pieces would pop out. I'm not positive. I'll have to play with that. Or you can play with it when you buy this for the 20% off before the end of the month. Like I said, this is the Seascape bundle. And I can't remember if it's carrying over or not, but you're going to want it regardless because it's a really fun bundle, especially if you live near uh, water. Um, I'm probably, as the crow flies, I'm probably about five or 10 miles from water at the most, at the very most. That's something, if you live around here, we uh, we love our ocean. I know my team member, Ann, lives a block from Gloucester Harbor. And if you're from around here, you probably say Gloucester Harbor. But I'm not from around here originally. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to have our uh, seahorse. I'll pop him up. Maybe I'll kind of tuck him behind. You know what? I'm not going to pop him up. I'm going to add him right down and kind of tuck him behind the coral right there, I think. I'm going to use glue instead. Oh, there's a couple of little chads. I think she calls them chads now that I think about it. All of a sudden, the word came to me. pieces left. Come on. I will know if those pieces get left, which is why I'm being picky about it, but you don't have to be that picky if you don't want to. Let's a little bit around the tail, a little bit up here. Okay. And like I said, we're going to stick it in here, kind of. Uh, that one does not want to come out. There we go. There we go. Isn't that cute? I love that. Love it, love it. Really pretty. Okay. We've got our stamped fishes here, but we're going to cover up my boo-boo here. So we've got our blue fish. Let's put them close to the bottom, shall we? So we can't see my halo. Like we say, a, a, a Stampin' Mistake is just another case, another uh, chance to embellish. So we'll put it down there. Can't even see it, except for right there. Um, you know what I will do? I don't know if you ever have a part like a solid stamp that doesn't completely stamp. I'm going to give you a little tip. We could use our Stampin' Markers, but it's not quite, not, not quite, quite the same tint or the same shade. It's a, it comes out a little bit darker. So what I like to do is squeeze my ink pads together really hard, enough so that you get this kind of ink in your lid, um, and then take a blender pen, not your blending brushes or your Stampin' Blends, but a blender pen. Yeah, they are, oh. There's a lot going on in there. Um, and just pick up a little bit of the ink with the same ink pad and I can color that in and you won't even see that I made a mistake there. I kind of like that blue, isn't that pretty? So now we just have to do our whale and our sentiment on the front. I'm going to put that down here and what I'm gonna do is uh, add glue only to one side because don't forget, if you are going to close this, um, I don't want it to be so that I can't open the card. Ask me how I know, I've done it before. I'm sure we all have. You, you uh, add the adhesive to the back and then you're like, uh-oh, I wasn't supposed to do that. Well, you won't be able to do it. I also tend to use scraps when I um, stamp everything. Um, make sure that there's no stamping on that side if you're going to give this card away. 
And then let's see, let's put our whale there again. We're going to pop him up a tiny bit. Um, I'm going to pop him up at the top at the top of him because the rest of him is going to lay just a tiny bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue and that's hardly even any. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue just to the bottom, just like that. And it can kind of stick to my uh, label. And there you go. Now what I need to do is kind of, you know, Remember when I said make sure you lay it down straight? This is not quite straight, but we'll figure it out. I'll, uh, I'll figure something out here. Let's burnish it a little bit more. And there we go. Isn't that so pretty? So many things. If I wanted to, I could add a little bit more Wink of Stella to my bubbles. Bubbles, 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 bubbles everywhere. I did it to my fish already. Um, I could do it to my whale, but he doesn't seem like the sparkly type. So here's my card done in blue. Um, I'm going to challenge you to make something similar to this. Maybe don't use so many different papers. Maybe use one designer paper, um, one color theme. And uh, it doesn't have to be sparkly or you can use your Wink of Stella to sparkle it up if you want to, but really, really easy. If you are on my mailing list and pay attention to this, I do recipe cards now for my Facebook Lives. The only way you can get the recipe card is by being on my mailing list because I will tell you every item I use and the directions, the uh, measurements for the paper that I cut inside the email. I'll have an attachment for you. So sign up where it says sign up now and get on my mailing list quick so you can get that every week when I do my Facebook Live. And this is still probably my favorite. Um, really like that with the yellow. It kind of offsets that just like the yellow over there with the mango melody. But I hope you enjoyed this Facebook Live. I'm going to flip back and say goodnight to you. Oh. Judy, thanks for joining. I'm so glad you were able to. I know a lot of times you're driving home from work at this time, but thanks for joining. I had such a great time with you guys. I hope you did too. Make sure you like my video, share my video, and make sure you get this Seascape bundle and the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine before the end of the month using my host code, which I will send to you or put in the comments. Have a great night, everybody. Bye.